Hey everybody, it's Mountain Mike, out on the mountain. Thanks for joining and checking to see what's going on today. Today I'm going to be configuring my battery bank for my solar system and I just wanted to share with y'all how I was going to do this. Uh, I've looked around on the internet and there's not many people doing it particularly this way. There are people doing it but there's not much information on doing it this way and I wanted to share with you what I was doing and why I was doing it. Okay, so these are my batteries and they are 100 amp hour 3.2 lithium iron phosphate cells. 3.2 volt that is. And uh, I've got 16 of them. Now the correct way to really do this would be just wired 8 into a 24 volt battery because I'm going for a 24 volt system. And through my lack of knowledge, ultimately, I ordered 16 to double up as 200 amp cells. So they sell these in 230 amp hour cells, and ultimately what I should have done is just ordered 8 of those. And that would have been more than the equivalent of the battery that I'm putting together. And probably cheaper. But due to my lack of knowledge, this is how I put my system together you know coulda woulda shoulda I wouldn't have done it this way but since this is what I have so what I'm gonna do is put two cells into parallel times eight then I'll have eight cells that I can wire into series and make my 24 volt battery and they call these super cells or I could take eight of these and wire them into a 24 volt battery and another 8 into a 24 volt battery and just put those into parallel but in that sense I'll have to have two BMS's for the batteries but running it this way I only have to have one now the BMS is the battery management system and its job is to read what's going on with each individual cell and this is where you get into the disadvantage of wiring or configuring your batteries this way because the BMS can only tell you what's going on in that pair of cells that supercell so people don't like this configuration because you can't monitor each cell individually and maybe in the future I'll rewire it in the other configuration but I'll have to buy another BMS because I only have one so I've asked the, the company that I bought these from and the, the company that I bought the BMS from both about configuring my batteries this way or the other way now this way doesn't supply quite as much amperage as putting two batteries two 24 volt batteries into parallel so the main issue with this is that your cells will get out of balance with the charging cycle and the discharging cycle two cells wired together in parallel one might be charging at a different level than the other. Now these batteries were bought together, all new, grade A cells. They needed charge to 100%. And you got to do this where they're all the same level. Now I charged each individual cell all the way up. And then I wired the entire pack up into parallel and charged those up fully. So they're all equally charged and balance this is called top balance and this is a very important thing to do with these batteries so now having top balance the batteries and that was one of the big headaches I had I ran into trying to set up my my solar system these batteries definitely require more monitoring and maintenance but in the long run they'll last you a whole lot longer so they're well worth it if you're willing to give them the time and the effort so here we have all the cells we have them paired together and ready to configure into parallel supercells and we're going to go ahead and do that real quick okay so now that we have them into these supercells we got to wire these into series now to make a 24 volt battery bank the first thing we want to do Now we got 
negative and positive negative and positive and we want to alternate those so we're going to do that all the way down by flipping each one so each one's going to alternate this one starts with negative this one's going to start with positive this one's going to start with negative be positive all right so this one starts with negative so we go positive negative and then positive so now you have eight supercells and they're ready to be configured into a series pattern so you have negative here positive here negative here positive here negative here positive here negative here positive here and so forth all the way down and you want to make sure you get this right that's for sure so now that we have our battery packs put together like we want I'm gonna go ahead and assemble them with some all thread I'm just gonna put three in each So now I have all 16 cells configured into eight cells and they are set up in two different banks. Now they're ready to be set up into one 24 volt battery. So we're going to use this style of bus bar to jump across the two style of batteries. Now the first thing we want to do is to wire these two cells into series, just like this. And then we're going to continue building this circuit all the way through the battery. And we're going to continue the circuit to this side, negative to positive. So we have positive here, negative, positive, negative, positive. And we're going to wire these into series. Continuing the series and then negative to positive, continuing the series, negative to positive, So now that I've shown you how I'm going to configure these batteries, I've got to get them down in this hole. And the first thing I'm going to do is take one at a time. So I've undone them so I can get them down in this hole. And then I'm going to configure them down in this hole so I can't really do the filming for that. But I'll check back with you when I'm done and show you what I got. Well I'm Mountain Mike, out on the mountain. Till next time.